Hello friends, Patrick here. Today we're going to talk about another E-Link security camera. In this case, it's going to be a little bit different because I think this is probably the pinnacle of a what makes a good little security camera at a reasonable price. And in fact, this one right here, let's start off with the best thing, it's 1080p. So everything you record is actually going to be in pretty darn decent quality uh, and I'm going to share some of those recordings with you because one of the things I like about this is how small it is, how mobile and still the one thing I don't like about it is the fact that you can't have it in the weather. So as long as it's in a dry area, it'll actually work it pretty, pretty well. Definitely improved HD quality. This is 1080p. It's also a wide lens camera. So you get a lot more of the background, like the camera I'm using to record that video over there um, is got a very, very low field of view and I have to move the camera a lot further back to get very, very little of the space. This will work great in the corner. The wide angle camera is going to really, really get all the space. You can see it. So what exactly is the difference in this model and the model I did in this video below? Um, have a look at that and have a watch. It's a little bit different, and I, but I want to talk about some things that I didn't talk about in the other video and obviously the differences and about the app that comes with it. This is just a battery pack and this is just a micro USB um, cable and basically it works, which is really, really cool. So there's a couple of interesting features about this. Apart from being 1080p, it is obviously still able to work at night. So it's got an IR sensor in there. So if we turn off the lights, you'll see those little dots pop up on the camera. It has the ability to swivel all the way around. It's kind of 360, but it's kind of 360 one way and it won't keep going around. It'll swivel back the other way to go that way. Uh, pretty standard with cameras like these at this price. And obviously it's got the 90 to 70 degree tilt. Uh, so as you can see, it's actually quite obvious how you can tell how far it can go down and how far it can go up. So basically, if you put it up on the top shelf, you can't really quite see down, but if you put it upside down and it comes with mounting uh, accessories here, you can have a basically 100% view of everything below you in a corner or even in the middle of a room. It can continuously swivel around and, and get to see where you need it to see. Now, there's a couple of features that makes this a little bit different. So first of all, there is a call function here. You can actually speak to the person on the other side and they'll, they've got a microphone here and you'll be able to hear them, they'll be able to hear you. So in fact, it's kind of like a door thing. So it can go outside, like it's designed to go outside, but it doesn't have the weatherproofness of a, well, you know, a, a standard camera that might be a pure security camera. The main thing about this is that swivel, and I think that's hard to make weatherproof, but I actually had an idea. You put a glass bowl on it, you stick it to the thing and put some of those little things you find in shoes, little beads uh, to get the moisture out, and it should be pretty good to go. So a nice glass, or you can get those domes from Bunnings uh, for like 20 bucks to fake a camera. So why don't you put a real camera inside? I mean, you never know, it could work. So. That's an idea, but in fact, this camera is really good because it's just an iteration of the old one. And it is within the same price. So on eBay, it's about $30, $40, and then they're shipping to Australia. So finally, these guys are shipping out of the box to Australia. You don't have to contact them on the side. Um, so about total is about $60 to get this and you still have to get a little micro SD card in there which costs around 10 to 20 dollars if you want a larger one to 30 but I recommend uh, 32 it, it, it'll be fine most of the time you won't even use the cloud you'll use this little stick and it can email you notifications so let's talk about the app a little bit it's an updated app since the last time I talked about it it has well a whole bunch of improvements they're not necessarily new features they're just improvements to the usability but what I found is that it's the fastest app around in regards to security cameras that works right out of the box I just press play it connects and it plays the video that's coming from here it sends me the notifications the motion detection on this is incredibly good and the settings for it are also really good like you don't get those constant movements that you sometimes get on cameras where you can set areas where it ignores but what if Somebody goes through the area where there's a little bit of a tree. This is pretty good. You set the sensitivity to really low and you'll be able to pick up larger movements like a person or what I use it for is to watch the dogs at the house or in the backyard to make sure they're all okay um, when I'm away. So basically the motion works really well and as long as you set it up uh, in, in a way that works for you, your sensitivity, your backyard, your front area, it might work a little bit differently but this is pretty good. So my plan for this at the moment is to actually put in the front of the house um, 
right under the veranda to actually see it and get a good view of the street if anything happens uh, and this will pick it up and I can swivel around and have a look and then like it's designed to speak to the person or then get them to speak back to me if for example a delivery person comes along I get a notification and say hey you can leave it don't worry about it don't put a ticket in I have to go and drive 10 kilometers out to pick it up so finally this battery thing this is absolutely incredible you can power this with just a generic battery pack. It's nothing special, it's got 5 volts out, 2.4 amps, so it powers this really well. Maybe I got lucky with this battery, but man, you could set this up somewhere, maybe just in some sort of sleep mode, and it does have a sleep mode, it'll turn on on motion. I haven't tested how long it'll actually last on this battery. What I'm trying to get at is it's a micro USB and you can power it from anywhere so you can probably extend this cable a little bit further than you'd extend a normal power cable and you can just probably run it to a USB battery or even something else that's really easy to find around the house. It does come with a normal wall plug and it's actually an Australian one which is great to see. You don't need an adapter, it's an Australian one straight out of the box so obviously they know that if they're sending it to Australia they chuck one of those in um, so I'm very very impressed. So. In summary, is this actually worth it comparably to the other one? Yes. Ignore the other one. This is the one to buy. The difference is about $10. Um, you'll be much happier with this one in regards to the image quality, but you'll also get a much smaller package and something very... I think it's kind of even stylish. Like it kind of looks like a little robot from that movie with the robot and the little thing and the earth is dying. You know, the garbage, what is that one called? Wally. -E. that's right, it looks like the Wally -E characters. In any case, I got really excited when I saw it and I've been using it ever since. So this is gonna get mounted straight away into my um, front area there in the doorway um, to, to actually use as it is intended. Now the other side of it is on the advertising side, it does say you can use this in your like baby's room to monitor your baby or monitor the inside of your house. Um, I think nobody's gonna stick one of these in a wall or maybe on a cabinet, maybe on a cabinet. But I think businesses or small offices would make great use of this because you can hook up multiple of these. You can buy like 15 or 10 and still pay less from somebody who comes along and installs a whole security system and get the same benefits of multiple cameras consistently recording or recording when there is movement and you get an app and you don't have to pay anything to get the, the cloud because they don't force you to go on the cloud and the cloud part is actually fairly cheap and could give you a little bit of an if you want to save the data from this little stick out there and it's really easy to download onto your phone in any case. So guys, highly recommend this one if you're looking for something small like this within that price range, it's about $60 and if you add that that card, it's about you know $80, it's pretty good for what it is. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, basically, the main information about this is just a quick review. I am actually a little bit under the weather. You might hear from my voice, so apologies for that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.